on guys, Kurt here. I want to show you this project I've been working on. I'm not sure what to call this thing, but I'm calling it a homemade tractor right now because it has no suspension. So the whole thing's built from scrap metal. There's nothing on here that was actually bought or put into it. There's not one piece. Everything is scrap metal. It's not just a car front end. There's a few things that have been changed up, and so that's why I like to call it a homemade tractor. I still have a lot of work to do on this thing, but I wanted to show you this before the weather starts getting bad. So the front end is off of an 82 Buick Regal. The car is long, long gone. This is just a clip that was sitting in a scrap pile. Frame is just some tubing. It had this laying around. This is just, uh, it's actually really thick half inch steel tube. I just cut it in half so that, that extended the frame. So then you can see the front end of the car. This is a 1991 Pontiac Firefly front end. Before you think it's just a front end, it has been modified quite a bit. Uh, well, obviously you can see the eight bolt wheels. They're not original. I built some adapters. I don't even have all the bolts in yet, so bear with me with that. And you can see some things have been modified. So I chopped the spring mount off the strut here to remove the spring so I get this big wheel in here. And there's been a lot of other modifications. So you can see here that all of this has been modified and now there's a straight beam axle underneath. As slow as I can get down there. I've removed all the control arms. They were completely rotten, so I chopped all that out and I've put in a straight axle. I think it's unique. I'm not sure if other people have done this before, but for a homemade tractor, uh, it's not a bad idea because you don't need the suspension anyway. Here, I've just locked off the steering knuckle here, just cut the control arm with the ball joint on it, and I've welded it right to this pipe. And then I've put this plate on here to attach to the frame. It could be reinforced more. So I also have the structure of the of the front end of the car welded into this as well. There's, this has all been tack welded, so there's a lot more welding to do. I've put this old hitch on here. This is just a hitch that was in the junk pile and I welded on there. It's, it's made it low now, but whatever, I'll chop it off if, if it's not gonna work. Modified the mount. Exhaust was rerouted and I've put some, some bends in there. This is just all scrap pipe. It's still hot. And then here we have our cat here. So, and then I've just put on this old muffler. The more difficult things in this project was to uh, root the shifter linkages. I still haven't even done the throttle yet, but this was the original linkage that would, it would, just went to here and then your shifter. Change that, just taking some little pieces of plate and that just locks that in place. And there's another one there. And I've done the same thing here. I rooted the fuel lines and brake lines from the back and they're connected to, this is the original master cylinder and brake assembly, pedal assembly, and I've just mounted it with some angle arm. So the steering system's kind of strange, to say the least. <laughs> I've taken uh, some tricycle parts because I wanted to move the column to the center. And then I've welded on the column uh, universal joint right to this tricycle pedal assembly. I've just chopped off the pedals. And then we have the chain going to a sprocket here that was also off of the, of the tricycle. And I've just welded it on there. There was a problem with the chain falling off. So I ended up putting parts from the bicycle on here to tension the chain. You can see how I did this. It actually works. It's kind of crazy. It works before it was just falling off. There's a lot of tension on that. So there's no power steering hooked up. But look, we got the boat tank the, with the fuel pump in there, and that's just temporarily. All right, let's take this homemade tractor for a drive. Let's go. Pretty crazy, this thing. <laughs> oh man. I think that, yeah, the suspension's actually moving. There's our steering system working there. Just let it idle. Oh, this is gonna be rough. So 
there's my throttle there. <laughs> Coat hanger, that's it. That's the throttle so far. I know people are going to criticize that. <laughs> it's, it's a work in process, like I said. <laughs> this is, this is the cra one of the craziest things I've ever built, I guess. I, I still have a lot of work to do to this thing. But it's just sort of a side project because I have a lot of stuff going on around the property, working on the property and working on the cottage. This is just a sort of a little side project to do once in a while, like... I think I worked on it maybe for a couple hours here and there a week. Look at this, look at the steering, man. It's kind of fun. The screw's gonna fall out. Let's see what it does with that. Oh yeah. Probably wondering why I did a video without getting the, the throttle cable hooked up. So this is probably one of the last nice days. The cameras are still on there. Yeah. We better little park this thing. <laughs> oh man. It just throws you right out of the seat. So I'll put a couple videos together on the construction of the tractor and you might be interested in watching those in the future. All right, well, that was the homemade tractor and thank you for watching. Peace out.